In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the AI videos create from prompt feature to create images and videos from scratch. So under AI videos, in the right sidebar, we click create from prompt and we get this dialog. We can enter in our positive prompt, our negative prompt and our style. So the style is a type of image we're going to be making. We either have a realistic human, 2D, like a drawn cartoon, 3D, this is our Disney Pixar style, photorealistic, so this is something real, like a cat or a dog, but not a human, and then other for things like landscapes. Let's choose 3D, and our positive prompt, this is what we want to create. For example, a cute cat named Mushroom City. Now the negative prompt area, these are things that we don't want to see in our image. Let me paste in a prompt I already have. So you can see this is a much more detailed prompt. A cute animated cat exploring a vibrant mushroom city in a style of reminiscent of Pixar and Disney cartoons. Magical scene captures whimsy and charm. Then we have negative prompts. These are things that we don't want to see. We don't want dark, gloomy, realistic, muted colors, static poses. Now that original simple prompt would do a pretty good job. More details better. We also have an extend prompt option that'll help us out here. So we'll take our simple prompt, extend the prompt, and you can see it's given us our detailed prompt. Cobblestone cities at night. We don't want dark and gloomy. So now let's give this a try with our prompt and hit generate image. And we have our image. This looks pretty good. We can click on it to get a closer view. You can also see a couple new options and buttons have appeared. We can save this image directly into our media library. We can create an animated video from this image, also into our media library. We can boost the length of that video with this option, video length booster, make it twice as long. We can also tweak our prompt or just hit generate again without any changes just to see other possible variants of this image. So we click generate image again. Here we have another image. One more time. And you can see we can scroll back through different images as well. Say so we like this one, save it. It'll appear immediately into our library. We can create a video. See, it's also going to appear in our library. We'll get a little pop-up once it's ready. It should take less than a minute. You can see it's ready. We'll take a look at that in one second. The final option here, reuse the same character. If we check this, the next image we create will be based on this character. That way we can have an ongoing story with the same character in each clip. But I'll demonstrate that through a new prompt. So I also wanna show off a feature when we create humans. So let's erase this prompt, turn a new prompt, female wizard, let's change this to a human Let's create an image. So here's our character. Now let's reuse the same character. See, we have a new option, face swap. With face swap, I could put my own face, or if I already had an established character that I wanted to use, can hit face swap, come to images. Here's another wizard that I have. Let's choose this. Let's generate this again. And now it's modeled after her with those sharp eyebrows, silver hair, and we can put her into other scenes. Just like this. Now we don't have to create our entire story all at once. We can come back later and use the redesign feature do redesign. You can see it's brought back our image, our previous prompt, our style. We just check reuse and enter in 
our new scene detail to get a new clip based on this character. So finally, let's take a look at that clip. That looked really nice, but if we wanted something different, we can always reanimate it again based on the original image using the image to video feature, which I'll show in the next video. Thanks for watching.